Hey there, so today you and I are going to be going through Border Town, one of those new DC Vertigo imprints that I imagine won't do very well at all. Why do I think that? Well, I just have a feeling that this book here, it's not going to resonate with that many people. I mean, of course, it's going to meet its own brand of wokeness. There's going to be certain people that want to see a guy go out there and really show it to those fascists, you know, really bash the fash, but most people that read comic books, they want to read them for fun. That's how this was advertised too. Interestingly enough, we were told that there wouldn't be a lot of politics in it, that it was just going to be fun and monsters and on, but then we started seeing sample pages, and well, after that, we started seeing <laughs> something else. There was a new song and dance that came in, and it was a pretty interesting tune. So today, I thought we would go through this book together. You know, I'm going to put it on full screen for us, and you and I, we can take a journey through the pages of wokeness and really have a bit of fun. So you look at that cover, and pretty much, I mean, it's basic. It's very basic to me. doesn't appeal to me that much, and I'd have to say that I wouldn't pick up anything from people here because of the individual spotlighted on it anyway. I would not have bought this. Someone was nice enough to provide me a copy of it. You know, they actually picked it up. Kudos to you, I suppose. I'm really kind of torn on whether or not to give you props for that. So, looking at the uh, first pages here, we've actually seen this in uh, samples. So, we pick up at Devil Fork, Arizona. Of course, with those terrible, terrible hicks. The American dream is dead. Viva the American nightmare. Back when Uncle Sam paid the Mexicans 10 million American dollars for Arizona, it wasn't nothing but a long-ass stretch of sand, scorpions, and Indians. Man, look at that. Look at the way that this guy is drawn, too. They even had to throw in the butt crack and everything because you got to show them they're racist. You notice that you get your uh, your proud boys in here too as well I mean you like that there look at that with his um, <laughs> his waifu as well I mean seriously this is trying really hard now after we've spilled our blood making this uh, place somewhere worth living these lazy SOBs want to waltz on back and pretend like we're the assholes for not giving them what is rightfully legally ours Pardon my French, but fuck that noise. You tell him, Zach. Look at Zach's haircut right there. I mean, what's with it? It looks like the guy is a melting candle here. And really, the background is very lazy. I hate that art style there. I would rather die than let that happen. I would rather kill than let that happen. Who's with me? So you see all the racists get together? Yeah, make America great again, motherfucker. Yeehaw, well said, brother. <laughs> I mean, seriously. You notice the kicking frog within this? Oh, you notice the Proud Boy logo? Oh, I gotta get a little don't tread on me. Because you know what? This is a story about monsters, and it's not a story about racism. It's it's a story about the world outside your window. Let's continue. Ah, did you hear that? Papa, what's that noise? It's nothing, baby. <laughs> Don't uh, pay attention. We've only got a little, fur a little bit further to go. Uh, but Mr. Raccoon is tired and my feet hurt. I know. It's just a little farther. You're doing great, Angel. This is only temporary. It'll be over soon. And then we've got our whole lives ahead of us, too. My God, a little blood. Oh. Okay, we have a racist roll in. They're ready to play a little bit of shoot 'em up. And, oh, dead body there. You see something out there, Eddie Roy? Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou. <laughs> Look at that facial expression. Christ Almighty, what kind of Mexican is that? Oh, my God. If I wrote that in a book, I would never hear the end of it. Lord. Oh, oh Teddy, no, Teddy, or Mr. Raccoon. <laughs> Next day. All right, we pick up with our main character moving in. You know, hey, Mom, did you? know that Arizona is home to over a dozen different kinds of lethally venomous reptiles, and it was the last state to honor Martin Luther King Day? 
Ooh, Arizona's Wikipedia page. Isn't that exciting? So no black people, but tons of killer snakes. That hardly seems like a fair trade. <laughs> oh, woke already. Love it. Already had at least half the pages. Give me something there. My coffee's wearing off. Uh, you boys mind if I turn on the radio? You're listening up. A little bit of weirdness seeping in. Get a little bit of that anime. I mean, nosebleed there. Oh, what's that awful noise? Noise. Frank, your nose. It's nothing. Happens all the time here. Side effect of the dry air. Yep, that's awesome. You know, Nick, I wasn't quite sold on the whole moving to the desert wasteland full of bigots and biological murder machines things, but now I know spontaneous bleeding is in the mix. I'm totally down. Metal. My God. God, that's cringy. Ah, oh, let's keep going there. Ah, oh, speaking of metal, what are those horrifying wolf pig things gnawing on human bones? So we get a little bit of a, you know, social lexicon within that. So I don't even really want to go over there. We get to hear a little bit more about what is that thing, how bad the desert is, and on. And then we finally get to town. Welcome to Daryl's Fork, Arizona. But it's the dry heat. Doesn't that sound fun? Ah, oh, so we get to go to school. And here we are on our first day of school. Oh, look, he's riding in. Cool. I always like how they give him, like, this break. And what the heck is up with that building? Man, that art style. What in God's name? Pfft. Idiot machine, stole my quarter there. I feel you, big guy. Life sucks. I got an extra dollar if you want. Keep the change. Please don't kill me. Gracias, my friend. Frank's, my name's Frank. Ah, oh, gracias, new Frank. Uh, mountain, whatever the crap that's supposed to be in the back. All right, you know, give him uh, some room. Coffin. Oh, man, the incredible. I thought you couldn't use that R word, but I guess you can when you're out there depicting racist so you know this guy he's going to be a racist shh keep it to yourself though <laughs> might have bruised a couple of ribs but i don't get the impression he meant any harm thanks though not a problem it's great to see another friendly face around here if you know what i'm saying wink wink <laughs> yeah ah oh, the fuck you looking at oh potato Pigs, oh yeah, ah, oh, welcome to Devil's Fork, uh, a town that's uh, exactly as nice as it sounds. What in the world is happening with his arm there? My freaking god! My name is Blake. I see you around. Oh, you get his like X there. Isn't that awesome? I guess you might, Blake. Fist bump. Oh man, look at that guy. That's just what we need. Another one. Up. Oh, yep. Seems like. Got a little bit of picture there. Ah, oh, he's looking for a homeroom. Let's go check out where he goes. Sorry I'm late. Uh, it's your first day. We'll cut you some slack. You must be, uh, yeah, Frank. I'll go by Frank. You know, do you want to introduce yourself uh, to the class, Frank? Nope. As I was saying, you can see I'm talking there. Psst, what's your deal? My deal? You're new. Nobody except Kinta likes you and Blake likes you. And neither of them likes anyone, especially each other. So what's the deal? Who's, which one's Blake again? The Nazi skinhead. It sounds just like something you would hear here, except, of course, he's got to prove himself a Nazi. Ah, that guy's a Nazi, but he dresses like shit. I thought they were supposed to be all dapper there. Not here, not yet, anyway. Arizona tends to trail behind the rest of the country when it comes to everything, <laughs> especially humor, apparently. Ah, uh, so you're not a white power guy? What's the matter with you? No, of course not. You know, I'll let you in on a secret. Most people aren't, you know. <laughs> but let's continue. Prove you're not a racist. Ah, oh, that sounds pretty much like we hear every time from comics. Wow, okay. Let's see, you know. And he goes through all of this stuff, you know. Ah, oh, here's who I am. Here's what I am. Oh, and by the way, I'm half Mexican. Oh, my effing god no you're not oh i am i don't look like it because my mom's irish but my biological father is 
supposed to be. You're not half Mexican or half Irish. That makes you sound like the world's shittiest centaur. You're Mexican and you're Irish and you're American. All three fully and all three simultaneously. 300%. Do you only get to be that, I wonder, if you go out and you prove yourself first? Then, otherwise, are you not a racist? I mean, is that how you get it? I was kind of curious. Psst, psst, psst. He's what? You lied to me, smash face. Of course. Hey, what's your problem, man? I never lied to you. I barely said anything to you. Misrepresented yourself then. Whatever. You pretend you're something you're not. Embarrass me in front of my boys. That doesn't just uh, make you an asshole. Makes you a dead man. I wish. I'd rather be dead dead than alive in this hellhole. Oh, how edgy. Meet me in the vacant lot behind the jack-in-the-box after school, and I'll see what I can do about that. You're on. Look at that art. I'm just skipping over that. Uh, can someone show me where that is? Ho, 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 my funny bone. Uh, meanwhile, on town, up, monster this, there's a monster there. Yep. Oh, no, a tiki torch Nazi. Basically, Everything that you fear, your greatest fear is made manifest. Urban teenager, Bane. I like how out of this, it's either the police, a Nazi, (laughs) an urban teenager, or Bane. Yeah, you see exactly what's on people's minds that are making this kind of stuff. But not all of Devil's Forks residents are so easily spooked. Especially so we get to see the setup here. Oh, man. And look, we get to see the eldest uh, resident here. And quite possibly, it's only hope. So it begins. Boom. Meanwhile, back at our fight. You think Blake's going to kill the new kid? It's possible. Remember what happened to the last guy? And that schmuck was twice this one's size. Half as cute, though. (laughs) Hee hee hee. Look at their freaking body style on that. And I ain't even noticed. Bullshit. (laughs) I'm surprised you showed. Me? Why not? I got nothing to lose. You want to see violent, by the way? You want to see the violent dreams of people as they oppose Nazis? You, on the other hand, if you lose a fight to some Mexican out-of-towner in front of your little gang of uh, white uh, power puff girls, I imagine that story doesn't end well for you. You ever heard of a ringer, Blake? Oh, got to teach that Nazi their lessons. Always got to have that fever dream, don't you guys? You know? Oh, shit. It's oh now. I'm not dumb. You know what happens if I bash your brains out in the hallway on the first day of class? I'll have teachers, guidance counselors, maybe even a pro officer down my throat for the next three years. I know this from experience. My last high school had a guy who thought he was king shit of the effing mountain too. I wound up dislocating his jaw, explaining to him that he was mistaken. Oh, look at that. But it's uh, why I was expelled. It's why my mom ripped me away from my friends. Look at that lovely bloody mess from my family, my entire life, to move me to some idiot uh, long-distance boyfriend so I have a male role model. Devon's Fork isn't my new home. It's my punishment, my own personal hell. Keep acting like fascist dickhead, and I'll make sure it's yours too. Ah, uh, the power dream of every person out there, you know, going out and, of course, hashtagging on Twitter. Everyone that disagrees with me is a Nazi, and this, this is what I do to people who disagree. Awesome. Makes me really love interacting there. Ah, oh, you made your point, tough guy. You know, ah, let's get the F out of Dodge before any red and blue show up. And it's like, oh, little help here. Oh, we're disappointed. So, of course, gun there. You know, hey, you gonna let that little <laughs> chili shitter walk away after that? Man, if I wrote this book. Look at that gun, too. My freaking God, the dimensions on that thing. Hey, ah, uh, ah. Uh, asshole a gun you know up oh, pulled out a gun then fear so of course monster cop rawr, and of course monster cop jumps in takes a little bite out of nazi nazi and then i'm mm, gonna go attack people no nah, i ain't going down with that it's a dream some effed up you know, del toro style nightmare here ah blink it off nope 
didn't happen. Got to have uh, the the R word friend, you know, because not supposed to use that word, you know, even though you folks did. No hurt, new friend, uh, Frank, attack. Oh, got scratched on the face. Ow, you know, ah, why does it keep coming after me? Licking him in the ear and all that because a little bit of that freaky, freaky love. Poof, shot. Oh, no, monster running away. And from there, pretty much, you know, we close out. We're not going to get to the very end of this. But that gives you an idea of what this comic book has in store for you. Ah, So this pretty much makes me think that it was going to be just like that. It pretty much has a message. It's going to send you that message. And that message is very heavy-handed. What's interesting about that is, well, at least that portion's entertaining. I mean, I, I love seeing current year thrown into something to spice it up, to really show you those Nazis, they're everywhere, because, of course, everything on a person's <laughs> mind, you saw it right there in the book. But this, this isn't supposed to be political. This isn't supposed to be social commentary. This is supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be marketed as fun. Yep, DC Vertigo, right there. Ah, but anyhow, if you like this kind of stuff too, consider supporting the channel. You know, there is a Patreon link in the description. There is also other way to support in the description as well. We have a live stream almost every day, and we also, you know, we have fun there. So, <laughs> like, subscribe, all of that, and of course, go out and don't pick up this comic book.